Hey, YouTubies. Hello, YouTube. Can I give a hand? Yep. How's it going? Welcome to Vicky's Muck Bombs and Yaki Yaki. I mean, um, Vicky's Muck Bombs and Life. <laughs> Will you quit bumping me? I'm not trying to bump you. I'm trying to move stuff. Today, you're moving stuff? Moving. Uh, I'm like moving nowhere. There we go. We are having chili dogs for quickness. We were going to do an outside campfire thingy, but it windy outside. Yeah, it feels like a storm's coming in big time. Well, that's about the best I can get. Let me see if I can put something under. I um, usually love this kind of chili, but... Dish. All right. There we go. There we go. I can see it a little bit better. Ah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we walked outside to go to the store and we were going to come back and do a, a mukbang, a hot dog cookout video. And yeah. You want more? Um... A little bit, yeah. Please, thank you. Yeah, and the neighbors outside, they got Christmas decorations and their tree is just like. Just a little bit of onion for mine. So, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Festus, Ramadan, whatever, teach their own. Same for me. So, be thankful for your favorite evil redhead. <laughs> this one's mine, so you can't have her. Ow, we have to trim one of your claws. Let me see your fingers. Which one do I need to clench him? Yours! Yeah, the one's on your hand. Love you. Love you. Ow! <laughs> My <laughs> hand got caught in the rat nest. <laughs> I don't have a rat's nest. Mine's not bad, or not good either, but it's not like that wind blown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got chili dogs. Yeah, and the chili usually looks so much better. The yeah, it looked caramel with. It didn't look as good this time, but hopefully it tastes good. Oh, it tasted good. I already had a. Oh, did you? I already had a bite. <laughs> I love chili, mm -hmm. unless, well, certain somebody cooks it wrong. Oh. And I wasn't referring to you. Mom. Hi. Big boy. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to knock you off. That was Bruce coming for a visit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He likes to pop up and say hi. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got just a hint of spice. Or maybe the Oh, onion. you forgot your chips. Oh, yeah. Good. We've got Lay's cheddar and sour cream flavored chips. I just grabbed something that looked different. And it was funny because I ran into one lady. I'm sitting here waiting for her to move out of the tea aisle. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's like... I'm in no rush. I got plenty of time. And then I went around to get the chips. And then she's like in the way again. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. It's like, it's no problem. I'm just sitting here, you know, waiting my turn. I am not in a hurry. I'm not in a rush. And then I had to embarrass a couple as we're going leaving Walmart, this couple, you know, right, walking out arm in arm and stuff, and I'm like, you better be careful and hold on tight so she don't blow away. And she gives me this weird look, and it's like, it's really windy outside. <laughs> oh, if you haven't guessed, I'm kind of ornery. Yeah, she was probably thinking, who's this weirdo talking to me? Yeah, some old dirty old man. Actually, I wasn't technically talking to her because I was talking to her boyfriend. True. Mm. And I'm not a dirty old man. I take a bath. <laughs> As I watch the cats run across the room. <laughs> Chasing each other, playing tag. Mm hmm. Hey, Diana, why don't you come over here and say hi? Come here. She was crying for us this morning or, or for looking for him or something. I'm not sure what she was doing, but. Hmm. She doesn't 
both of them don't meow like normal cats. They do little squeaks. Just very weird. They don't do anything like normal cats. So she was doing little squeaks, looking for her brother or us. I'm not sure which. Usually it's him that does little squeaks, crying for. Yeah. Usually he wants attention or something or food. And if it's not food, it's usually food. Or he cries also when you shoot his rubber bands for him. And so he can't he, find it. So he can play tag. He likes to play tag. Or not tag. Catch. Fetch. Fetch like a dog. Mm -hmm. He'll play anything. He'll shoot the rubber bands off across the room. And Bruce will go chase them. Well, sometimes if he can't find them, he'll start crying. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to get up or somebody has to get up and find his rubber band for him. I need to get some more of those big fat, like the red ones. Big fat red rubber bands, because those are what he loves the best. The problem is, he chews on them enough that I eventually I, yeah, I go to shoot it and I get shot by a rubber band. But actually, they don't they don't eat them. We've watched to make sure that they don't eat them. Mm -hmm. and he just plays with them. So. Yeah, a little smart Alex. Mm hmm. Hi, big boy. No snow yet here, but in Arkansas they've had some. Boy, it's feeling earlier. I feel like it could be gearing up for some snow. Yeah, I'm not really hoping for snow because next month I want to go down and see my sister again. Sister and brother. Yeah. Well, one of your sisters and one of your brothers. Yeah. Considering I have several other brothers and several other sisters. Yeah. Two sisters I've never met. One brother I've never met. Oh. For those of you that are new, the backstory is last year his one brother, Raymond, that had been adopted, did a DNA test on genealogy.com and found out that he has brothers and sisters. Well, then he contacted Anthony's sister. Peggy, and then one thing led another, and you know, everybody got connected and met met each other. Well, some of us have virtually met each other, not actually in person yet. So, come find out he has four brothers and three sisters, I think, mm -hmm. that he never knew about. His dad and mom split when he was a baby, and so his mom kept him from ha knowing anything about his biological dad. So his bi biological dad, I guess over time, had like two or three different <laughs> families, babies from different um, mothers. Yeah. So, And one of them had been adopted out, Raymond. And the funny thing is, you see, I graduated high school in Wyoming, and then I moved to Utah. Well, I didn't... Well, I didn't even know if my dad was alive, dad, whatever. He had moved to Missouri. And they eventually ended up in Arkansas. And I moved to Missouri, you know, financial problems a long time ago, getting a fresh start. And I currently live two hours away from my family, most of my family, and I didn't even know it for until last year. Yeah. So the four brothers, the brothers, and three sisters that he just recently found out he had, he also ha grew up with two half brothers. So that's a lot of brothers and sisters. Yeah, Brady Bunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because that would be a total of six brothers and three sisters. Whereas me, I'm just a little only child over here. The redheaded stepchild. <laughs> and it's funny. Can't pick your family, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, so since then, we've been trying to get to know some of them. Some of them live off in California and they're 
his sisters, two of his sisters, they're not as talkative. And also, he has one brother, I think lives in Missouri? Near St. Louis. Yeah. It's not as talkative either. So. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's cool your one brother, the one that we've not actually got a chance to talk to yet, is in a metal band. <laughs> Yes, she grew up super convert Christian conservative, so she that stuff was highly frowned upon. Oh yeah, very highly. The thing is, when growing up, I loved rock and metal, but in order to listen to it, unknown to my parents, even still to this day, I had to sneak my little transistor radio to bed and listen to it before I fell asleep. Remember that time we went to visit your cousin, Tony, mm -hmm. and he played that one song, just see, he, um, I can't remember who sang it. Oh, yeah, um. Burn Through the Ditch, Burn Through the Witches, Dig Through the Ditches. Uh, Rob Zombie. Because he was trying to offend her. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah, I like this song. And he's like, uh, huh. <gasps> When growing up, I was raised to be a goody two-shoe. Man, her shoes weren't too good. <laughs> Nothing is Christianity. Just the way I was raised, I was very... Sheltered? Con sheltered and controlled. Worse than now. <laughs> but my parents, we're living with my parents right now, but hopefully that will change soon. Eventually. I'd love to get a travel trailer and be able to do some traveling and stuff. Even just a little bit. And the worst thing is, I know how, you know, to build all this stuff. The problem is, is actually being able to do it. And so we both have ish health issues that prevent us from doing a lot of things. Because like that last, that last video I made, the cake. Oh my God, that wore me out. Wore me out so bad. I kid you not. I slept 95% of two days <coughs> and two nights after that. Not joking, because chronic fatigue and it just wiped me out. I never realized making a cake was going to be so hard. If I had, I would have asked for more help. But I thought it was. Excuse me. I thought it was going to be so easy. Bruce crawling under the thing. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and Diana tackles him. <laughs> that tiny bit of onion I put on there, that really added some kick. Oh, there's a little bit of kick in it without the onion. Okay. And you got some more of your tea if you wanted to refill your cup. Okay. okay. So it's not just the onion then. Okay. Yeah, and this shouldn't have kick. Yeah. I don't mind to have a little bit kick, but I just I should have to drink more. <laughs> you boozer. <laughs> tea. It's not Long Island iced tea. It's just tea. peach tea. You boozer wannabe. <laughs> Sorry, I tease it all the time. <laughs> oh. I offered to tack her down and tickle her, but well. No, I hate being tickled. Mm. I was tickled relentlessly when I was a kid by my Uncle Harry. Hey, I was tortured to get too, so. I hate being tickled. I don't think I'd have the energy to be tickled now. You'd wear me out and I'd be asleep again for two days. Mm-hmm. Probably a cake after this, too. Yeah. They found a flashlight. Uh. Hey, Brewster. So y'all ready for Christmas? We're, I'm ready to go back to sleep. <laughs> I say we're about as ready as we're going to be, which is not very ready. Well. <laughs> she's laying on the heating vent. I guess she's cold again. Yeah. It's funny because our previous cat, Snugglebug, she was 
terrified of those hanging vents. Yeah. Diana is laying on top of it. <laughs> you silly kitty. And Bruce is taken off with his shoestring. He has, they love, our kitties, they love shoestrings. And they actually will play tug of war with it. One will get hold one in and one the other. And they'll play tug of war with it. Now, Eddie, you're going to cook your butt. Yeah. You're going to cook your butt. Or belly. You're going to cook some of that fat off. If that worked, I'd be on top of the bed. Right. I was just thinking that of me. <laughs> you just plopped down, getting comfortable laying on it. You know, she stood up for a second, then she just like plopped over. Yeah, she does these weird plop overs. She will plop over on her head. She's a strange kitty. Ah, my bun broke. Uh-huh. I think I'm full. I want a piece of cake, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. I know, I know, I know. Thought you were full. <laughs> Bruce, get down. Oh. He knows he's not allowed on the counter. Mm-hmm. Okay, you eat my chips and I'll finish your dog. Okay, there's no dog left. I just bun and chili. Onion. Okay, I'll take your chili bun. You take my chili buns? Hey, Alfred spank those all the time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm getting hot in here. I got my Ow! Problem there? Yeah, Bruce was coming up my back. Oh. Mom and Dad had the heat cricked again. I guess this one. You can have the chips, I told you. I'm full. Okay. She's a fool. Huh. I'm a fool in love. Mm -hmm. Gotta be. I fell in love with a redhead. Later. You fool. In. I'm innocent. They're proven guilty. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Funny thing is, I always joke around when we go to Walmart. Bruce. And Vicky's always like, see anything you want, go ahead and get it. And I look at her and she's like, no, it's got to be on the shelf. you got to be able to get it in your cart. I thought about walking up to one of the um, um, employees in front of Vicky and saying, my wife says I can have anything that I can get in the cart. Will you hop in the cart? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I picked him up and he farted. Oh. <laughs> that sounds like a good time to end the video. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, share your videos, and if yep. you want to, share it on Facebook or something. Yeah. Please. Be awesome. Um, one last thing. I want everybody to have a Merry Christmas, Happy Yule. Whatever the holiday of your choosing, have a happy one. And a safe one. Yeah. So we will catch you again next time. Bye-bye. Oh.